Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walrus World, and today we're back home after two months of traveling. We've been all over. We've been to Spain, Portugal, even got to Andorra, Israel, Palestine, Malta, Jordan, Greece, and around some of the stuff in the U.S. And travel's been crazy. It's been a fun time. Uh, but I thought we'd go through a few travel worries that people have lately that we've been seeing in the news. Talk about a few travel things that might affect you as a traveler, and then answer your questions. Just a nice little Sunday morning travel chat to get us all ready. And of course, Miss Jocelyn is out traveling herself right now. And so she just messaged me that she is in Atlanta, enjoying some Atlanta breakfast stuff. So anyway, the big news that's been showing up a lot on YouTube and CNN and other places is, oh, Europe's going to make Americans have visas to visit. Well, first off, it's a visa waiver system. It's not a visa system. We've actually done multiple videos on the ETIAS system. Um, it is coming eventually. Um, I made the video three different times because they've changed the date back so many times because it was supposed to be in 2022, then it's 2023. Now the new theoretical date is January 2024. So if you're traveling before then, it doesn't matter. But if you're going to be going then, you might need to. However, knowing how the system has not been up to snuff yet and they've had pushed it back two years already, um, I have a feeling that when it does go live, there are going to be some snafus. I would recommend uh, going and signing up for it uh, as soon as you can. Like once you have tickets to go to the Schengen countries, basically, you can start filling it out. Um, you have to do it within three days before three, like, Three days before you travel, it's too late. So you got to have it done. It's valid for three years or if your passport expires before that, that's how it is. It's basic, super simple information. Where are you going to go? Who you are? Your information. I mean, it's stuff that they already collect, which is what's annoying because these things already collect. It's more like just a quick little, hey, I need your seven or eight euros money grab kind of feel like that. But if you're a U.S. citizen, you're upset about this. Remember, we do the same thing to uh, Europeans coming here with the Esther program. So not really a big deal. It's just one of those things that may take time. Um, so I, I don't know if it's actually going to affect in January because things have been uh, pushed back so many times. It's, it, it's kind of funny. I know I have a trip in January and I'm like, mm, well, do I need to get it? Well, there's no information up yet. There's no official thing, but don't worry. It'll be okay. So don't freak out yet. I mean, it's like the new, let's give some bad news to scare people thing. It makes no difference. Absolutely. No, you're traveling in 2023. It is not something you have to worry about. Okay. So don't worry if you got... Good thanks. Hi, Liam. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, if you want to have that, that's going on. All right. Now, some other news I saw that was kind of, uh, well, there's some not good travel news. Um, when you saw the people in Las Vegas, I think it was the Delta flight that got stuck for three hours on the tarmac and they had to have, you know, eat like paramedics come out to get the people because they're overheated. The transportation, Secretary of Transportation, uh, Department of Transportation is looking into that because I'm sorry, that that's insane. Uh, to keep people in those tarmacs that long. There's no reason for that. I mean, I'm sure there's some like, oh, well, all the gates were full or all this. I'm like, you have ladders. We, we, we've gone to airports in Europe. There, there, there are those, those steps that come up. You could get people off. Um, that was just, that is uh, bad supply chain management, um, I would say, Bob, bad operations right there. Um, oh, Zabnik. Good to see you. Hey, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. When will you come to Michigan? So, we were in your evil neighbor state of Wisconsin uh, recently. So we have Wisconsin videos coming up. But we will get to Michigan. Uh, might actually go up there this fall to see a game, uh, depending when my team is playing and where they're playing. So I don't know if it will be um, I don't know if it'll be in Michigan State or up in Ann Arbor. Uh, we'll, we'll see which one it is. But I want to get up to Detroit as well. So uh, so we'll have that. So should be should be coming relatively soon. I mean, we now have flights to Detroit from right where I live. So maybe I'll just go fly up there for a weekend and visit Detroit. Because I've been up there a few times. The Traverse City, was, I love Traverse City. Uh, Mackinac Island's great, but yeah, good stuff. Now, um, some other travel, like news kind of things. Um, if you saw on the news, there was a teenager that did the skip lagging thing. If you're not sure what skip lagging is, that is when people will see that, oh, I want to fly, this, for example, the one I saw, Kay was flying like Florida to New York via Charlotte. And the, the flight from Florida to New York via Charlotte was cheaper than the direct flight from Florida to Charlotte. 
Now, this is because air, airport taxes, all kinds of other things out there. So what people do is they just don't fly that last leg and they just stay at that Charlotte destination. The thing is that messes with the scheduling and the seat assignments and things for the airlines. So it's against their uh, policy. And so you can actually get in trouble for that. And there's a lot of people that have been, you know, done hundreds of times. But the thing is, you only can go one way because if you're on a round trip ticket and you skip one of those middle things, they cancel the rest of your ticket. So it's not something you can really use very often. But if you're one of those people that does one way tickets all the time, I've seen people use that and as they have saved some money. However, since it's against the term of service, you can get banned. And that high school kid, that teenager is getting banned for the next three years of flying American. And if you have no other option, you got to be careful with that. And, and that kind of leads into another thing I've seen. So over the summer, I didn't take my computer with me. Uh, that's why you saw a lot of those shorter videos. Those are shorter things I could do from a phone. Um, now that we're back, hopefully the longer video is going to start soon. Um, but I've seen with all the Instagram and TikTok, I've seen so many bad travel hacks, like just hacks that I'm like, you're going to get in trouble. And they've shown up on things on CNN. They've shown up like uh, all kinds of other, you know, like major news outlets. You're like, Hey, you know what? You're, 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 you're kind of getting yourself, you could be getting yourself in trouble. Um, if you do these things, you know, there's the one, uh, one, one of the people I actually know, like they, she was on CNN that showed how she stuffed her bra, you know, and, and done that. Or like the people that like to use their, their pillows and stuff their pillows. Sometimes you can be fine with that. Sometimes you won't and you get caught and then you got to pay. Um, and they, they remember these things and that's where you can get in trouble. Um, if they do remember and they put on like, Hey, Mark Walters is the person that did these things. You want to be careful because all it takes is a gate agent that isn't in a good mood and your fun is gone or a TSA agent going, huh? Because the funny thing is a lot of these, these hacks I see people do it's for flying like a Ryanair or a cheap airline in Europe. In the U.S., we got a little more luggage space, uh, luggage available or given to us. But, you know, they'll, like we're like nine layers of clothes. So have the fake bra and stuff, everything in there, you know, and, and then they get in through. They, they you know, they're basically in security. and They're going to overheat themselves. So what they do is they bring a second bag. And then when it's time to board, they basically dress themselves in other clothes, then stuff the bag in the other bag. It can work. But, I mean, is, is all that really worth 25 bucks. I mean, it might be, it might be, but I think you need to be aware that some of these hacks people are giving you can get you banned from airlines. So do be aware of that. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Marilyn. Good to see you on here. Liam, Rally uh, Creative Travel. Good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Swiss chalets on here, all kinds of good people on here. Very nice. Now, some other some other travel news um, I've seen, which kind of it's part of our advice we've given for a long time about booking direct. Um, American Airlines announced that hey, our booking direct things are up. Couldn't have anything to do with you nailing that person for doing the skip lagging uh, and saying hey, we're not messing around. Honestly, if you can book direct with an airline or a hotel, that is always the best way to do it. Sometimes you can get the best deal. But here's the thing. If you buy from a third party and something goes wrong, those airlines, those hotels are not going to talk to you. They're going to tell you, go talk to Expedia, go talk to Kayak, go talk to somebody else because we didn't buy it from you. Didn't Delta didn't sell that ticket to you. Delta sold that ticket to Expedia. So you have to go through Expedia. And so you don't always get all the same benefits, might not get the points. So it's something to kind of think about if you're if you're going to be doing this. OK, so so I would be I would be aware of that. So, uh, yes, 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 yes. So, but yeah, other things going on for, for our summer. Um, yeah, it was, it was, there was a lot of filming going on. We, we filmed a bunch of new videos, lots of stuff from Spain, back in Portugal as well. So that was about a month there. And then we spent a month in Israel and Jordan, Greece, Malta. So lots of videos coming. Malta, not a lot from Malta. Um, we were, we had done about 10 days of 105 degrees and we were like, I'm done. I'm tired. So we all kind of, uh, <laughs> I was, I, we were all kind of tired of, uh, of just going around. So when we got to Malta, it was kind of like, you know what? Let's enjoy the view from our apartment and let's just go out to eat and relax. And, and that's what we did. Yeah. I made, I think I made a, a don'ts of Malta video and I think I did an eats of Malta video, but that was it. There's no extra stuff from there. Cause it was just, it was just time to kind of chillax and relax. So, so we did that, but we got to Greece, things kicked up again. But in Greece, we were back in the 105, 106 degree weather. Um, however, if you've seen the fires, those fires were started when we were there. That was like you could see the, the fires. I mean, it's very dangerous. People are going to Greece. You got to be careful. 
uh, make sure you're checking beforehand because it is it is um, very much a, a very safety thing. So you want to think about that when, when you're going to go. And anytime you're going in the summer, you, anytime you go anywhere, you always want to check to see safety things before you go. Like one thing we look for is just I just put in the destination we're going to and latest news, and that'll pop up. And Google and and Bing or whoever used the search will give you a lot of things on there. So so you will be okay with that. Um, what other things I can tell you about? I don't know. It was it was a really good time. Uh, Israel was incredible. Jordan was fantastic. Honestly, best food we had was in Jordan. Lots of this uh, like lamb and rice dish with this yogurt stuff on top was amazing. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of videos by it, so don't worry. Um, so we have a good time. Anyway, so I just want to cover a few things there uh, before we get before we get to your questions. But uh, yeah, um, other news, other news, other news. We got some domestic travel coming up this fall. So I saw somebody was hoping for an Eats of Orlando video. I will be in Orlando. I'm presenting for a conference there, hoping to win an award for a teaching award there. So fingers crossed that goes well. Um, so we'll have that. Um, yeah, but uh, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, let us let me go to the <laughs> – shout out to that one person using Bing. Yes, you said There you go. Okay, so let's see some of your questions on here. I'll scroll back through, see who else on. Sue, good to see you. Oh, Swiss shorts from Switzerland. Nice. Liz from Means to Travel. Liz from Means to Travel. I am the worst friend ever because Liz and Jocelyn did videos in Arizona a while ago. And I still have not gotten to them. And I'm hoping to get through them in the next month. So hopefully, Liz, we'll finally get those out. I'm sorry. I'm the worst friend ever, my friend. So there is that. Um, let's see. So Carmen points out not all Europeans are on a waiver program. Remaining Bulgaria is not on a waiver program. If I visit the U.S., I need to require the tourist visa beforehand. You Americans don't need a visa for many. Yes, this is true. Um, you do have to check where you are from and where you're going because I believe there's 30 countries that will be part of the visa waiver system. It's not all. It's not just European Union places. You know, Norway is not in the European Union, but they are going to have the ETIS system. Um, British travelers will have to do that for certain countries going into Europe. So it's one of those things, mainland Europe, you, 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 do, you need to look up. And the thing is, airlines, the, one of the things that's held, held it back in the ZTIS system is this, it's the onus is on the airlines to make sure everybody has it. But the thing is, the system isn't set up to check for those things. And it's a digital one. So what you'll get is like a PDF sent to you. I think it's good for three years. And how many of you remember a PDF in your phone for three years? How many of you have a phone for three years? I mean, these are things you got to think about when it's coming up. So... Travel with Summer. Hey, Walter, me and my fiance love watching your videos together. I'm glad she's from the U.S. and I'm from the U.K. Those senior reviews of places I've been and that we'll go together at some point. That's cool. Thank you. I'm glad I can do that. So, Armino Privato, hey, from Germany, flying to Seattle, the Pacific Northwest this September. You got any tips and places? I mean, the two main ones are Seattle and Portland. Um, I actually like Seattle and Portland better than Vancouver, to be honest. Vancouver's got a really cool reputation, but if you go to Vancouver, make sure you're going out, like going to hikes, going out into the mountains and stuff because a way of watching school. But for me, Seattle is really great. Um, the food scene is incredible. It's expensive um, when you go to Seattle and they'll automatically put the tip on there. So if you're from Germany, your tip will automatically be added on. So I'm sure you'll be like, what? Yeah. So uh, it's like 18% too. They don't, they're, they're not messing around there. But the Museum of Pop Culture is probably my favorite thing to go and see there. I, I don't know if I'd pay to go up to Space Needle though. Um, if you're really looking at things, but uh, yeah. My McMixer, hey, good, thanks to you. Oh, thank you for the kind, kind, uh, kind words. Let's see. <laughs> Laura from Purdue Country. Hello, Indiana, West Lafayette. Are you there? Yes, Liam, we are. 905,000 subs. So close to gold. We are, we are. Just think, Liam. If you would have done more videos, we'd probably already be there, my friend. Uh, so there is that. <laughs> Rick, I wanted to tell you how much we appreciate your videos and information. We're traveling to many places. You appreciate the honest and helpful information. Hey, that's what I try to do. Um, and that, that's one thing I think with our videos, we're starting to resonate again with audiences because the Instagram and TikTok are good for inspiration, but they're not really good for giving you actual helpful advice and how to see places because there's only so much you can do. And that they're bad. If I... It's just there's not only so much you can say, and 
30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, right? So that's why I'm glad we can still make these bigger videos to give people more advice. And it's actually us talking versus uh, an, uh, you know, the digital voice or the mama, mama, that stupid song that's in the background all the time uh, of all the, uh, all the travel videos lately I've seen on Instagram and TikTok with just putting up text over the top. So I'm glad we can do that, Rick. Thanks, my friend. Yeah, Swiss Chalet points out, I, I like to book direct, not the mailman, go to the hotel website. And here's the thing, if you, you like, if you have to cancel early or leave early or something happens, hotels, if you book direct with them, they have your money, so they can give it back to you. Whereas if you book through a third party, a lot of times it's, you know, say, hey, sorry, we don't, we don't do with that. You have to talk to the third party, and they probably have more strict rules than the actual hotels do, so... Travel suggestions for South America. Yes, we have probably 500 videos up from South America. So we got plenty of stuff out there from Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina. You know, those ones we have videos from. I actually spent a lot of time in Chile as well back in the day and Bolivia, Paraguay. Um, I find that going to South America is much more adventure outdoor based uh, than you have in like Europe because Europe is more church, museum square kind of travel whereas in south america there's much more adventure tourism eco tourism that's you can get in that and that, that's why i always tell people like look you can see the big cities so and make sure you're going out as well to go and see some of the nature preserves or maybe you're going to see a waterfall you're going out to you know float in with the you know with the jacare the alligators you know there's all kinds of stuff so Taha, can you show, share how you finance your trips? How do you budget for these trips? So actually, I have a video that's coming out specifically based on how to budget, how we budget our videos or how we budget our travel. And a lot of it comes down to figuring out how much time you have, where you want to go, and time and where you're going to be will really dictate our budget. Because going to Israel is a lot more for you know for ten days, a lot more expensive than going to Jordan for ten days, or or going ten days to Switzerland. I can go three weeks to Brazil. Yeah, so like these are things that really influence how we choose where to go. And we never like and the thing is when I see how people burn money, we actually have a video on uh, budget mistakes that rookie travelers make that has a lot of really good tips in it um, that really talk about, you know, where are people screwing up. One of my things is like overpaying. There's no reason to stay in the five star super high end hotel if all you're going to do is sleep there. If you're going to Paris, I mean, you're getting up in the morning, going to see the city, you come back late at night after dinner. You're there from what ten at night until eight in the morning, and you're just sleeping most of it. Do you really need the silk sheets and all that? Eh, why not save the three hundred euros a night and get a cheaper place? That's one of the big things there. And another thing I think when we look at travel, you know, people get scared by the sticker price of plane tickets, and they don't go. Like Europe is one thing when people say, "Oh, it's too expensive to go to Europe. I'll just go to the U.S." I'm like. We get to travel to Europe all the time because we stay, I mean, we stay two, three, four weeks at a time. And with that, we really save money because finding a good accommodation for a family is a lot cheaper in Europe than the U.S. Because if I go to a Holiday Inn, you know, or whatever, Hampton Inn in the U.S., you're going to spend like $180, $200 a night for just a basic room. I get the same equivalent room when I go to Europe for like 100 euros, so like $110. So I'm like, wait, there's $70 I'm saving every day in hotel costs. And that, I mean, think about it, and that's a week. So 70 times seven is $490. Oh, wow. That's an off-season ticket to Europe, to like Ireland, from where I live. So something to kind of think about. Um, Derek, I almost forgot who you were. It's been so long, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Derek from Means of Travel. Always check him out with a Liz. He's like her muse, you know. Okay. Fanfy Crocs, uh, Australian, thank you very much for the super chat. It's a very good question, just out of curiosity. If you have a criminal record, are you disqualified from that European wide visa? It's a French name that I can't spell for the life of me. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so they will be using the visa stuff to do checks. However, I don't know how it's connected to things uh, because when you look at it online, they use it in case you're coming from countries that maybe there's a, another pandemic or something. They don't people from that country coming there. They're using that. But the thing is, once you have the visa, it's good for three years. Uh, so there is that. And specifically, I would talk to a lawyer about that or a travel agent. They will know exactly what it is. Um, and, of course, it will depend on the type of criminal record. It was like, oh, I was, you know, I would, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. But, you know, there, there's different levels that are out there. So something to kind of think about. Yeah. So. 
Thank you very much for the super chat. I don't know how much that helps, but uh, there is that. <laughs> Teacher Mike, one, well, you guys got so many videos of the resilience. Yeah, no, it was during during the pandemic. We had, I mean, I have, I probably have two hundred videos filmed that I just have to edit, which is a lot of time. And when we when the, the pandemic hit, I had a bunch of videos because I used to make a ton of videos when we go anywhere. Like some people, like they'll, they'll go on a trip and they'll make one video for their week long time there, and I'd make probably ten videos in that time. And so we just had a lot of stuff. And so during the pandemic, we were still putting out stuff every Wednesday and Saturday. Except at the very beginning of the pandemic, we just did the lives. But it was like kind of like, well, no one's traveling. We'll put out the old, like, the ones I knew weren't going to ever do very good, like tipping or some of the culture things that people don't really, you know, I, I would think people would be interested in, but they weren't. And so I kind of went through all those. So now it got to the point where I'm like, okay, now we've got, we've, we've got 200 videos that are literally like the don'ts of all of these different destinations, culture shocks. So there's a lot more stuff coming out, Teacher Mike. Don't you worry about that. Ah, uh, Santiago Chile versus Lima True. We can only go to one. Um, that's tough. Both cool. Santiago has better empanadas. Lima has better food overall. Um, I'm gonna have to say Lima. Well, right now, well, right now I'd actually say Santiago. But in a perfect world where everything's nice, there's not any problems going around, I, I, I would say Lima would be, would be first. Because I usually tell people, if you're going to go to South America, for your first trip to South America, going to Peru is probably your best just because of the tourism infrastructure, the food that's there, and the sights they have to see. So there is that. Oh, Rob from Trip Hack CC. Tours of the summer has been bonkers. Good luck to everyone who still has a trip planned. Yes, it has been bonkers. Um, here's some of this crazy, though, folks. We were in Greece. We were in Crete. And we were in Nafleo, two very popular destinations, and they were empty. Like, talk to tourists and people there, and they say, usually we stay until October. We're going to leave probably end of August because nobody was booked. Because the instant, like, it's one of those, like, the influencers really are influencing. And so everyone's going to Athens, which was insanely packed. Santorini, insanely packed. Mykonos, insanely packed. And it's kind of like they forgot there's more parts of Greece. That's why I always tell people, it's like, yeah, you know, the, the Instagram, they're good for ideas. But don't let that be your only idea. Go explore more. Um, so there is that. But I know some of the airlines, I mean, they have hired more of Jocelyn that experience. She had a 6 a.m. flight this morning. And she's like, our airport used to be so efficient and good. It's like everyone here doesn't know what they're doing. Or they're not as very good as they used to be. I'm like, well, they're learning. So it's like time. So Jocelyn was kind of giving them ideas like, hey, the pink tag bags, you know, you can do that before we check in. So you could just do it now so you get some people out of the way so you don't take a long time to board. They're like, oh, that'd be a good idea. She's like, yeah, that, that, that might be a good idea. <laughs> yes, it is crazy. It is crazy. Hey, if you want to see some adventures in Scandinavia and North Northern Europe, uh, Eric, Travel Adventures Eric B has been putting out a lot of videos lately. He was in, he had a premiere yesterday from Riga. Uh, so there's a lot of videos there. You can check him out. Ronnie Dove, looking good, man. I saw your pictures. You've been working out, man. I can see it. Doing good. Doing good, my bro. Let's see. Adriana, what's to know? Will you visit Bali, Indonesia? I'm, we'll get there eventually. I'm not really in a super big hurry to get there. There's so many videos, so many nomads that live there. There's, there's, I mean, we could go make our videos if we went there. Um, but it's not, I think when we get there, that'll probably be two Asia trips from now. Uh, maybe three Asia trips from now, because I think the first one will be, you know, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, uh, Thailand, probably Singapore. Uh, then the next one, I think, will probably be South Korea, back to Japan. Uh, then we'll probably get down there. So it's 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 in, it's in the cards place to go in the future. Uh, so there is that. Four days in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, one of my friends goes there for her birthday. Her birthday is... It's Halloween, so she always enjoys going there. Let's see. So Jersey wants to know, is there an insurance requirement that would accommodate the ETIS obligation? Not seen it yet. No, there, there is nothing yet. I mean, that has, isn't something they've, they've put in there. So say the word about that. Hey, Leo, good to see you, my friend. Let's see. Lisa, so how you got, do you guys travel with kids around class time school? So... When they were younger, it was a lot easier. When they were little, their schools were very much, hey, go take them. It's a great time to be a family, spend time together. 
um, see the world together, learn there. That was really easy. When they got older, like our oldest, he's going to be a junior in high school. Those are things like I, you know, like some of the stuff I could teach him, but I can't. So they don't travel. They don't travel as much with, as they used to. I'm actually like I'll do more solo trips, and Josh will do more solo trips now. Uh, but we still take the kids. Like they were with us for the month. We were in Israel, Jordan, Greece, Malta. Did that. And the weekend trips and the the break trips, we still do those things. Like we got one coming up to Colombia um, with the boys. So so we have those things coming up. Um, but it, it, that's one thing you'll notice when you see the the families that are traveling. Most of the time, the kids are little. Because when they're little, it's easier to get them to go things. When they get older, they want friends. They want to be on the soccer team. They want you know more that. So you know we we accommodate for as much as we can. Our U.S. state driver's license is all we need to drive and run a car in, in Ireland. Yes, it does. You, no, you do not need a national driver's permit. Uh, you can go to your AAA. It's like twenty bucks. They'll take a picture for you, which is like another seven or eight bucks. You can just go there and get it if you want to feel more comfortable. But I've never had to do that ever. Uh, all the times we've rented cars there. So uh, something to think about. So thoughts on Malta, beautiful architecture. The stone work is there. Like you feel like you're back in time. The restaurants in Valletta are fantastic. Uh, St. Julian's for partying. I mean, it's it's weird. It's like, oh, Valletta to go eat and, and be there during the day. St. Julian's to go party at night. Medina to go see a historic town during the day. So it, it's kind of broken down in a nice way. Happy Crocs, thank you very much again for the super chat. This is only an idea, but why not do a video on these France that could be tied with Junior Eurovision just for family and kids overall? So I have done some. So I filmed like Liverpool. We had Liverpool videos we put together, and we put those out right before Eurovision was there, and that helped a little bit. Um, the Nice one, I'm not going to be back in Nice for a while. Um, sometimes we do look at things like we went to Brazil before the World Cup and the Olympics to make content. So for travels, we're going to go there. So we do do that sometimes. Um, and we'll look and see like where are things going to be held. Um, I know the next World Cup is what, 2024? No, 2026. Um, that's US, Canada, Mexico. And so we'll probably be doing the place we don't already have. We'll be doing videos to kind of get those things already in the system uh, to try to help people go in there. So that, that's the thing is like you'll notice our videos they're very much made so no matter when you're traveling there, it's going to help out, not just for one event. Because what I found is when I tailor it for an event, then once that event happens, people never watch the video again. And our content's made to be seen again and again and again for people to so where they're traveling now or in five years, our videos are still going to help you out. Whereas some people that really focus on like restaurants and hotels, well, restaurants and hotels change. You know, like that's where like, look, the museums, they don't change so much. The, the, the culture things, they don't change so much. So that's what we try to focus on. So. But yes, yes, that is one thing. Thank you very much, fan of Crocs. I appreciate that. Genji, would I ever consider going back to Scotland? Of course I would consider going back to Scotland. My mom is like, can we go back to Scotland? We're going to go back to Scotland. Can we go back to Scotland now? So yes, that that will uh, we'll be back there, I'm sure. Um, I, we have ancestors from there from back in the day, so we always like to go back and see, uh, find, search on them. My mom, every time we go, she, I'm like, Mom, you know all the genealogy stuff's online now. She's like, no, no, I want to go. So she goes in Edinburgh. There's a place, there's a library you can go and kind of search uh, and search for your family history if you have any Scottish backgrounds. But other, other, and it's also around different towns. Like we have um, family up in the Shetland Islands, and so uh, so going there and finding things. The people knew our family from back in the day. The the things like I don't know, you're not on that side. Your cousin was a total jerk. You live down here. You see that? You see that house there? That's where your family lived. I'm like, oh wow, that's cool. So, favorite destination you have for solo travel? For me personally, I like to go to Turku, Finland in the summertime because it's sun all the time. I've got a bar I used to go to because I used to live there. Um, that was my go-to place. I wouldn't recommend it for many other many other people, but it's quiet, it's calm. There's not much going on. You can go get some decent food, go be have a drink on the river, and just kind of enjoy yourself so that, that that's something like kind of nice Derek wants to go back to NC 500 it's like the middle of nowhere road at the very end that uh, they had a flat tire on and so no I'm not gonna go with you there I don't trust you <laughs> Julia thank you very much I know it doesn't show up here but I really appreciate that thank you very much very nice you'll see if there's a question from Julia Julia send me a question if you have one so I can answer it for you to say thank you for the super chat that's super nice of you 
And Sue, thank you also very much for the super chat. What budget-friendly European country cities do you recommend? So, Sue, if you look up uh, best budget cities, Europe, Walter's World, I've got like my top 10. And the thing is, they're not all the, they're not all super cheap places, but they're places that you can get there cheaply and it's good bang for the buck. Because, yeah, I can tell you really, yeah, you can go to Albania. It's really cheap, but uh, as a tourist, I mean, no. Um, I would say if you're looking for countries that are affordable, because I'll be honest with you, there's not really any place that's super cheap anymore in Europe. There's affordable places. Um, I'm looking at, you know, Portugal, Greece. Um, Greece isn't, no, getting to Greece is not cheap. Like if you're coming from the U.S., flying to other places in Europe, then do like a Ryanair flight or a and airline into Greece. That's a lot cheaper than flying direct to Greece. Once you're in Greece, you can you can get by on really, really fair prices. Um, if you're looking, Croatia's come up a lot, but it's still okay. Uh, Poland's pretty cheap. Prague for a big city is relatively affordable. Um, basically, if you're outside of London, if you're going to like Liverpool or Chester, those places are really nice in England and not too expensive. Wales is affordable. So uh, there's, there's some places for you. So... So I hope that helps, Sue. Thank you very much. I have no idea what happened. My computer just jumped around. Arlington, sorry. Austin, it would be a good scenic place to work and write like for a month. Warmer, tropical is better. Um, warmer, tropical, it, dep it would depend what time of year you want to go. Um, I would look maybe like a Portugal because it's so easy there, especially with lots of people speaking English. makes life a lot easier, affordable prices. And the Portuguese will leave you alone. So if you want to just do nothing, they're not going to bother you. They're not loud. So that that would be probably a, a nice destination I would recommend. Um, Jaziel Santos, good morning. Any plans to travel like in a van, van life, basically, in a Euro trip with the family? No, zero, zero desire for that. We have taken Big Blue Bertha around Europe before, and I will not be doing that again. <laughs> I'm okay with the trains, the planes, the buses. Uh, the park, it was the parking that really sucked. Like, that was the thing. So, how much time do you spend at the airport to catch your flight? Um, whatever my flight can be, I'm usually there a couple hours early. Oh, Chris Price, yeah, good to see you in Ariel and a club. Yeah, for those who don't know yesterday's video, uh, I was in Athens and another YouTuber, Instagrammer, uh, Ariel Vieira from the Urbanist Exploring Cities was there, so we did a little video together uh, to help him out. So uh, it was it was fun. It was fun talking to him. I'm seeing if Julia sent me a question. Oh wait, dang it! There was Julia keeps throwing me away. I get closer. Oh, okay, okay. There's Julia. All right, there we go. Thank you, Julia, again for the super chat. Hey, Mark, my nephew is traveling to Egypt and Tanzania in October. Any advice? Tanzania is super friendly people, super friendly, have lots of small U.S. dollars, ones and fives, lots, because you're going to tip a lot there too, like, and you tip like in the, in like, there's like a box, a lot of places you'll tip there. Um, lots of patience, you get your visa when you arrive. Um, Egypt, set up your tours beforehand, um, just so everything's kind of set up, uh, be prepared for things taking a little bit longer to get through. But yeah, Tanzania was fantastic. Uh, Julie, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's gonna have too many problems uh, there. So, so don't worry about that. Oh, hey, Walter's World Eats is in the house. If you want to go subscribe to our food channel, that that's that one there. I'm gonna guess that's Miss Jocelyn. Time has ever been to Turkey? Yes, many years ago, and I'm looking to go early next year to film. So I'll be back to uh, to film there. Time to hey. Uh, well, the contest is november so you have to, plenty of time. But in terms of being useful afterwards, long-term watching, have it towards family and kids, but just have it tied in with the event, but frame in a way that can be used afterwards. Yeah, no, that, that's what I try to do. Like, So when we did the Brazil Olympics one, uh, well, well, the Eurovision one, I didn't talk about the Eurovision contest. I just had the video coming out before the contest started. And then the title, it had Eurovision. And once Eurovision was over, I kind of deleted that to make it like that because – I, I, I've done that a couple times where I did mention like a year and they'd be like, oh, this is so, it's not worth, it's too old. And, uh, and I'm like, this is still the best travel video in the city, even five years later, because no one else is giving you actual travel advice or saying, look at me, do my stuff. And so that that's why. So yeah, so 
Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be – I'm not going to be in France before November anyway. So, But this is one of those things, Pantry Crocs, that, that's one of those things I try to do so it can help people anytime. And that's where, like on the other social medias, like on Facebook or – or like other community posts on YouTube, I'll put things in there like, hey, Oktoberfest is coming. Here's the Don't Seduct Oktoberfest. And so I'll put that in as it starts just to kind of get it back up in there. So cool. Thank you. And also, thank you for the super chat. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. It makes a difference. I mean, honestly, folks, if you ever wondered, you know, if, if your contributions make a difference, they do make a difference. You know, we don't, you know, there, if you never noticed, there's now these like, Oh, yes, there's OnlyFans, but OnlyFans isn't just for like naughty stuff. But there's like OnlyFans, there's the like on Instagram, there's like the subscription model where only subscribers that pay get this content. And your your contribution, whether you join us as a YouTube member um, or you, you become a patron on Patreon, you know, these things do make a difference, you know, like because honestly, like. It's not I, – I always get upset when you see these people online going, oh, I travel the world for free. I'm like, oh, I got these credit cards. Let me do stuff. I'm like, yeah, you just spent $5,000 to get the free flight. So it wasn't free. And so that's where I'm like really, um, really glad that we can make this content to help people realize that, look, travel isn't free. You got to do it. And, and your contributions really do make a difference, people. I, I can't tell you enough, like, how helpful it is. So thank you. Um, really, honestly, thank you. So Adrian wants to know how far ahead do you need to plan to go to Oktoberfest in Germany? Uh, booking, like book a year or two out for a place to stay. Otherwise, you're going to stay a bit farther out. If you're just going to go for the day, you can do that. But no, you like all, like once you get to the evening, all the seats are reserved by companies. So you might – like I, when I go, we'd be there like when it first opened. But we were going to find a seat right away. And I remember drinking with a friend of mine, and we were sitting across these two like – Oma and Opa, Grandma and Grandpa Germans, and we're just sitting there drinking with them. They're like, oh, this is the only time we can come. We've been coming for 50 years. I'm like, aw. And so we're just, yeah, knocking it back. Um, just just be aware of that. So you might need to stay uh, farther out, so do be aware of that. Um, let's see. Rulo, thoughts on travel to India, New Delhi? Yes. So India is one of those things I don't want to do it short. But the thing is, is I can't survive July in India because I will melt. I will. I think I'll actually burst into flames because all my fat will just burn and burn and burn. Uh, so there's that. So we want to make sure we have enough time to do that. So that, that I would like want to spend about a month at least there to really, re, really go. And we've had some. I've had so many students from India over the years that are like, if you come, we are going to show you around. If you come, we are going to make sure. And they're like, bring nothing. You'll be taken care of. So. We've had so many, like, just so many students that are just, like, waiting for me to go. So I, that, that's one of the things I do want to get there. Uh, but I don't want to make it, like, just a week or 10 days. It's not – no, I want to do more because then it gives me a better chance to explore more of the country and more of the culture, see more things. You know, it's it, otherwise, I'll probably just do, like, a region and, and do that and then come back again uh, another time. But, uh, yeah, so Rolo555, thank you very much for the Super Chat. And I hope that helped answer your question. So – Let's see. Oh, Mary Ellen, India in August <laughs> melted and lived in monsoon weather too. You are tougher than I am. Hi, Wayne. Ah, uh, Karen wants to know, hey, Mark, have you ever been on a cruise? Now is your experience. I have been on a few cruises. Um, I'm not a big cruise person myself just because I like to have more control over my travels. Um, but I did go on a couple... And I, I think cruises are good. Like I actually have a video. I might put that out later today. Love you, buddy. Um, I might put that out later today, or maybe I'll make it tomorrow's video. Uh, basically, how to see a lot of places very efficiently, because a lot of people want to see it. I, I mean, not everyone has weeks. Some people only have a week or ten days. How can I see as much as possible? And sometimes those cruises, or the the boat to riverboat cruises, or the or the bus tours, those sometimes are the best way to see a lot of. Like you get the highlights. You know, and everything's together. You don't have to unpack and everything, so it's all kind of there. So that part I liked. But on the other hand, it's like I like to spend more. I like to do a little bit more time and destinations and that, hey, you take the tour, and if you're not back by 322, we're leaving without you. And then you get to figure out your own way to get back to the next destination. So it's it's been it's been a little bit of, of uh, things. Let's see. So downfall parodies one. Where can you make the most of a weekend long trip? London, Paris, Rome, or Copenhagen? Um, I would say London or Paris. Uh, it would probably be better London, Paris, Rome, Copenhagen. It would be in that order. They're all they're all great for a weekend. 
Um, but the first three are better. So thanks, Kai. I appreciate the love. Let's see. Oh, hey, I'm the process of my visa in Spain later this year. Fingers crossed. Uh, it'll be my first time in Europe. I'm going to be 25 plus American citizen. Awesome. Good luck, my friend. You'll have a fun time when you're there. And that's one thing is in Spain, they're very welcoming to everybody. So it's a nice thing. It doesn't matter how if you're old or young, you'll, you'll have a good time. Canada TV News today on Canada Rio. Not enough public toilets in old Quebec City. I would agree. I had to drink a lot of beer to use a bathroom to make sure I could use a bathroom in a, in a place. And that kind of made the, it made a vicious cycle of having to find another place to be at the last beer to find, drink the next beer. So yes, that, that does happen. So Butterscott, 7788. Any tips for a woman traveling alone in Paris dealing with pickpocketing? I'm thinking of not going. Scared. Don't be scared. You'll be fine. Um, one thing I would say, do a cross body bag. You'll be okay. Um, you know, you, like, you lock your passport and stuff up in your hotel when you're going out during the day. Take a picture of your passport so you have it on your phone and just do that. I mean, Jocelyn goes by herself to Paris every other year or so. Uh, my mom's going to Paris by herself. I've gone to Paris by myself. I know I'm not a lady, but like you, you don't have to be worried. If you're not making yourself a target, you're going to be fine because there's lots of solo Parisian ladies walking around that don't get pickpockets. So butterscotch, don't let this stop you. You'll have a great time there. Ozzy Fly Girl, hey, I haven't seen you for a while. Good to see you again. Too hot in the summer to travel, busy and expensive. Yep. If you stay in the U.S., where do you suggest? California, Oregon, or Washington? California. I like California. Got some great cities, beautiful nature. I mean, I understand when people don't leave California because it really is a beautiful state uh, for tourists as well. Adriana, what's the most dangerous country you visited? I think technically speaking, statistically, was when I was in El Salvador with the family. But I didn't really feel too unsafe. So there's that. Mr. Dan, thank you very much for the super chat. Hi, Mark. Been to Bogota. Actually, I was looking at flights to Bogota, and they're quite affordable for when I'm looking to go early next year. So I do not have any videos on Bogota. I will be going there. We are going there next year. That is our one. We do know we do have going. Uh, so there will be Bogota, probably Cartagena as well. So we had a couple of places. I don't think the Medellin. Um, hoping to, but it depends on the schedule, uh, how we can put things together. But yes, uh, we will be there. But sadly, I do not have, um, I don't have, I haven't been there yet. Sorry, Dan. So I suck. Kai, are you worried about going to Columbia? Ah, oh, it's like a Columbia theme. No, I'm not worried about going to Columbia at all. No, we'll be fine. Taking the kids. Okay, what do you think of these danger tours visiting dangerous countries like Afghanistan and Yemen? I won't go to those places. I don't think it's safe. I'm not, I have a family and I'm not going to take a chance. Like, I will actually look at my flight pass and if it's going to fly over like war zones or stuff, I, I don't even, I'm like, nope, not going to do it. And some people get really mad at me, like, oh, well, they don't. I'm like, oh, ask that KLM flight that got shot down over Ukraine a few years ago. I don't, I don't, I don't play around. No. So there is those things. Oh, you're gonna have a fun time, my friend. You got a fun time in Spain. Yes, and my friend that the solo traveler, Aussie Fly Girl, um, money belt, if you want to feel more comfortable, there's that too. So so don't you worry. Let's see. Fan congrats. Man, you're gonna thank you again for running the super chat, my friend. In your opinion, are you mad for going to Malmo, Sweden during Eurovision because of how expensive it will be? But it's Copenhagen, Denmark just so expensive. Copenhagen is more expensive than Malmo. Um, but Copenhagen is literally a thousand times better to visit than Malmo. I'm sorry. Malmo, I, I, I would have, I, honestly, I'd go to Copenhagen, stay in Copenhagen, and then take train over to Malmo and go see that. Because Copenhagen, I like Copenhagen. Copenhagen is fantastic. Malmo, it, it's just not my, not my cup of tea. So I uh, hope that helps. Colin, good to see you. Hey, bro, going to Germany. We watch your videos. They're super helpful. I'm glad to hear. Uh, we're going to be back in Germany later this year to make some new Germany videos. So uh, hopefully we'll have that. Well, Angela, I said hopefully we can fit in Medellin. Let's see. Do 
Do, do, do. So, so I really, hey, I want to say thank you to everyone that's answering everybody else's questions on here because I'm like about to answer. I'm like, oh, so I'm just answering it right away. So if you have a question, if I don't get to it, like look and see, follow the feed because some people are actually helping out and answering questions for people. So Kayla Wombo, thank you very much for the super chat. I, it means a lot. Your contribution does make a difference. I know it doesn't show up. Show, you know, it's backwards. I, I know it doesn't show up here, but thank you. I know it shows up on the, the actual screen. So that's really cool. Oh, uh, man. Thank you so much. What is the least expensive, most beautiful Nordic countries you've been to? So probably the most beautiful Nordic country would be Norway, which would also be the most expensive. Uh, the cheapest, I don't know if you'd call it Lithuanian Nordic, <laughs> but kind of do, that would be the cheapest one. But if you're looking at the ones people usually time, kind of look at when they talk about COVID, like Denmark, Norway, Finland, Sweden, I think Finland's probably the cheapest if you're outside of Helsinki. So... Oh, it's like, I'm glad we can help out. Yes, Grace, Scotland's fine for female solo travelers. My mom's been a female solo traveler there for many decades. Many, many decades. Let's see. Oh, I hear children. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna, I hear children eating, so I'm going to have to hop off here in a little bit. Oh, we're almost at our hour. So you got some last minute questions, throw them up here again. I'm sorry if I haven't answered them yet, just put them here. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go from the bottom of the, the thing here. Let's see. Time out, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you, Time Master. I appreciate that. Your mom, right? Yes, my mom is pretty awesome. She is, I got to give her a call. I haven't talked to her for a while, so I feel bad. We text, we actually usually call quite often, but when we were traveling. She's, I'm like, mommy, I, I, my phone works there. I have this system. It doesn't cost me anything to talk, but you know how it is. Ah, now all the questions are coming. What's the best Greek food you try when you're in, oh, in Athens? In Athens? I had some pretty awesome yiddos. Uh, the, could it, is it klifto lamb? It's lamb that's cooked in like parchment paper with potatoes. That was excellent. That was excellent. Uh, my, my favorite new Greek food I found on this trip was when I was, I had the dakos basically Greek bruschetta with the Crete and cheese on top. That was my new favorite new thing I found. So that was great. Thank you, Grace. I appreciate that. Kai, I have not been to Cape Town. Not yet, at least. I think my brother's there right now, though. <laughs> Mark, thank you for sharing the web that you don't eat boost with a fork. Keep making great content. Thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate it, my friend. Yes, euros are great. Yes, Cleftico, yes, that's the one I'm talking about. That was awesome. That was really, really good. When am I coming to Australia? I, I don't know. I don't know because we were looking at it. COVID, looked at it again. COVID, looked at it again. I have the books. I have New Zealand and Australia just sitting staring at me in my, in my library like, we were going. Why haven't you used this yet? What's going on, Mark? We're waiting. <laughs> so we'll, we will get there. We will get there. Cheapest way for a holiday in Rome for one week. Here's the thing. When people go for cheap holidays in Rome, a lot of times they think they need to stay way out. Find an affordable hotel by Roma Termini Station. You'll be fine. There's a lot of affordable options there. And just stay there because then you don't have to take all the time going in and out of town. You can walk every place you want to go. So you'll be fine. Is the immigration process difficult for Spain work visa per se? I, I haven't seen it, any true difficulties. They actually have a digital nomad visa coming out for Spain. So that makes it easier for people as long as you have an income. Over, I think, 3,000 euros, you should be fine. Uh, let's see. Ah. Chef Evans, when you return to Vicenza, I'll be there. I'll be there early next year. I love it there too. I'm glad you're having a good time too. Uh, let's see. What country in Europe has the best small towns, villages you can visit? So, best small town eating, Greece, because it's a whole experience going to the village and eating. Okay. But as a tourist, which you're going to go, oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so quaint. Oh, it's so quaint. Uh, England, England, Ireland, when for like the quaintest little, cutest little small towns. So, oh, they're getting restless at the door. <laughs> hostels, hostels have gotten a lot better over the years. Uh, I got to say that. 
Um, some people are anti-hostile. You don't need to be anti-hostile. They have private, a lot of them have private rooms now. They've really upped their game. But the thing is, the cheap back in the day hostels for like five, 10 bucks to spend the night, those don't exist anymore. If you got two people, you might as well look for a hotel because you'll probably spend about the same amount of money. Um, so there's that. Justin said, <laughs> I miss you, Yosef. <laughs> How far do you plan your trips ahead? Uh, it depends. Like Jocelyn's flying for a trip that she decided to go on to last week. Um, Israel, we'd been planning for years, and it kept getting canceled. So it, it all kind of depends. Let's see. The fan mail, I, I don't have an address to send fan mail, so you can just tell me hi. It's fine. Maybe one day we'll have one. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I okay. Yes, okay. So they they obviously are going to starve to death if I don't help them. So, um, Joy, thank you. I hope I'm a nice person. I don't know. You have to ask people to actually meet me in person. That is one thing I find funny. Um, when I've met people that I, I watch on YouTube and I meet them in person, they are very different. But whenever we meet people when we're out traveling, they're like, "Wow, you're just like you are in your videos." So I guess I'm like I am my videos. So if you think that's nice, I guess I'm nice. I I don't know. Jay, we'll have to bump into each other someday, have a beer, and then we can discuss, all right? So I'm going to hop off here real quick. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Fanfy Crocs, thank you again for another super chat. Uh, yeah, host oh, yeah, hostels, if you have any disabilities or you have any trouble sleeping, hostels are not a good place to go. Uh, good call, Fanfy Crocs. I appreciate you putting that in there. Oh, Bruges. Yes, Bruges is beautiful. I guess it is kind of a small town, but yeah. But anyway, I want to wish you all – Oh, I've, I've been there. I've been to this one. I've been to this one years ago. Oh my gosh. Travel Jack, you threw me, you threw me a loop back 20 years in the past right there. Woo. Okay. So I'm going to let everybody go. Bye everybody. Bye Ronnie. Bye Liz. Bye Kai. Hope you all doing well. See you later. Yosef, Mary Ellen, Time Master. Hope you all do well. Have a great time traveling. Just want to give them, just answer some questions. Get everybody traveling again. So thanks, everybody. Have a good one. If you do have any other questions, I'll try to do um, another live in a week or two. Um, hopefully, I have a better idea what I'm going to do it uh, to put some more stuff out. Because uh, right now, I got to get back to editing, editing, and editing, and editing, and editing. So it's a lot there. So, Fanfy Crocs, thank you again. I wish you all the best. Everyone, happy travels. Bye.